Well, the reason I'm here today is the Power, EPISD's Power Up Conference. Um, I happen to be a presenter this morning, and now this afternoon I get to enjoy the um, digital learning that we're going through this afternoon, um, teachers teaching teachers how to use technology, um, looking at some of the district initiatives from active learning, blended learning, the SAMR model, and I'm really just trying to get used to the new devices that we'll be rolling out to our students this school year. I guess the message that I would like students to get from our district is that yes we've invested a lot of money in these devices but ultimately more than that we've invested in their future um, because they're going to need those technical skills those collaborative skills um, and to be able to be confident in their own research skills whether they go on to college um, any vocational school um, so that they can be able to survive in the 21st century as productive citizens I'm making the move. I think I'm making the move and the jump towards fully integrated technology uh, through gaming, you know, uh, being able to use that as a way to teach students the curriculum. Um, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Uh, engagement, you know, the students get engaged. Uh, they learn skills of empathy, uh, you know, problem solving, uh, critical thinking. They're also able to make up their own games, their own rules, and when they do this, they can integrate it into their own learning and directly affect their, and empower their lives, you know, inside and outside the classroom. How much technology do I know? I thought I knew enough, but apparently I don't. And that's part of the reason I'm here today, um, so that I can get to see not only what the new technology is, but how can we apply it in the classroom? And um, it's a risk, yes, um, but I'm willing to push the buttons and ask the questions and figure out how I can use technology with my teachers. So teachers who perhaps um, are a little concerned about technology, is your job at risk? Um, I would say number one, no, your job is not at risk um, because it's content first and technology is just simply there to support what you're doing in the classroom. And then I think most of all, it's the heart of the teacher. They're the ones that conduct the classroom and set up the framework. And so I think it's one step at a time. Just like we encourage our students to try something different, um, I encourage all teachers, veteran teachers and um, new teachers, to try something new and then take it one step at a time. I think if we all move forward with an open mind and learning how to best use technology to support our lesson plans and our content areas, I think that's more reflective of a 21st century classroom in terms of college readiness and career preparation. Um, but I wouldn't say necessarily it would be a requirement. I think it's definitely an ideal characteristic of any classroom that you'd like to see. But I would tell teachers not to worry. You know, that at the end of the day, they're still the content-based experts, and we still need teachers here, okay? We still need the live body teachers, and technology is much more of a supplement and a complement to learning. It shouldn't be our number one. The content should. I'm really glad the district's doing it. I think it's very exciting to see the talent that we have amongst our teachers and learning, and learning about what they have to share with us for our future students. Um, and I hope that it's something that continues. I think it will each year and year, and I think it'll get bigger and better. Um, but for a first year, first day, I think, it's, I think it's well thought out, I think it's well executed, and I think it's well planned. The presenters are really on the top of their game. I think um, this Power Up Conference, it's new to the city of El Paso, and I challenge every teacher to come out here next year and be a presenter of presenters.